Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 17, Week 5. Today, we're taking a look at Blade Fury Burgers, the Wizard Team, taking on the Wagyu or Wagyu Beasts, depending on uh, where the, the, the name is being stated. The uh, Tall Balls Team, Dark Ace, seems to be picking for them today. And uh, as a special treat, with me here today is actually uh, Kitty. What's going on, Kitty? Meow. True. Indeed. So, this is an interesting matchup. This is the matchup I've been looking forward to the most this week, to be honest with you. This one uh, should be quite a bit of fun. I have no idea who either of these teams are. I've seen neither of them play. That's when true. The first game I've cast this season. Yeah, well, you did cast, like, one earlier, I think. I but think so. uh, that was back when you were still doing text on me. I haven't voice revealed yet. Oh, and speaking of yeah. voice revealed yet, because you're definitely Kitty, for anybody who recognizes your voice already, where the hell are you this season? Um, Ten seconds remaining. Mexico. I'm in Mexico. That's where I am. Oh, is Mexico the new slang word for working on Sundays? Sure. There we go. Viper, first pick up here. I never like Viper first pick, to be honest with you. Yep. Joke's on you, I'm actually in Puerto Rico. Oh, nice. Vi Viper is just... <sighs> he's so hard to counter, but... He he's annoying to counter, but if you can counter him in lane... I just pick somebody who doesn't interact with the viper um or that yeah that's a very good pick to uh to deal with the viper and it's in the support line as well it's pretty good yeah although the issue with that is spear breaker has no attack speed so if viper just presses w on the ground then the spear breaker kind of can't hit the viper and therefore cannot bash the viper the good news is, is that he doesn't necessarily need to do that if uh, he gets the charge off and somebody annoying is by him. Somebody with a lot of physical yeah. damage or pure. You know? No, I'm just saying if Viper, like, yeah, he probably isn't charge, gonna, yeah. you just press W on the ground and then you just stand in and then you get hit by the charge and the Spear Breaker can't hit you. It's true. It's an unfortunate Unless scenario. he has six. Five yeah. Talking about the laning phase here. After the laning phase, it's a good counter pick, though. It's a way to get on top of Viper, almost guaranteed. Unless the Viper gets a four staff and can react in time by yeah. four staffing the Spear Breaker. Yeah, it's it's pretty tough. It's a pretty tough matchup. You know, it's like I said before, Viper is secretly not really that tanky. They did do a pretty good job of banning some of the more annoying things for it, most notably the Drow Ranger. She can't play into it at all. Gonna be bringing out that classic Curry Spirit Gyrocopter again. I mean, I feel like Drow and the Viper is definitely not bad. You just have to know what... The, or Viper and the Drow is definitely not bad. You have to build the right items. Like, you need your eggs. You need, like, a way to get on top of Drow. And the problem is, is that with Viper, you really want to be able to do something without, like, necessarily having to lean on the items. You want to do stuff before you've got the items out, and before you got the items out, you can't kill Drow, she just gusts you, and you are sad. I'm, I mean, the ult. if you get your ult off before she gusts you, then she is sad. Cause she, she is no sad, but the and downside is, is that that's a somewhat hard situation to actually get into. Yeah. Because once you get silenced, your poison attack disappears, and you do four damage. Because you're an agility hero with a shit agility gain. What's big green and does no damage? Oh, Elder Titan. Viper when he's silenced. Jakiro up now has very rarely is there a bad Jakiro game, and this doesn't really look like one. Very rarely is there a super Jakiro game. This doesn't look like that either. But you know how it goes. I mean, yeah. Jakiro, if it's five laning into Spirit Breaker, would be pretty good. I feel like these are, like this is like a mid lane and a five for, for Dire and like a four, or three four or four five for Radiant. Yeah, it's been Curry Spirit pause four on the Gyrocopter most of this season, so 
You can probably yeah. expect that to stay the same. Then could this be a mid spear breaker? It actually could be. Ice has done that before. Uh, who's who's a crackhead enough to do that in the Viper though? Ice. Uh, sure. <laughs> I, so. I mean, crack. Ice has cracks in it. Picked up the hoodwink. That's, that's good. If uh, I mean, it's unlikely. I mean, it might be. It might be mid spirit breaker. It might be flex spirit breaker. It might be five spirit breaker. If there was going to be another support, a good thing for the beast that they didn't let the hoodwink go. That's for Although, sure. If this is five breaker, I would like to shed a singular tear for the pause one, because they'll be shedding plenty of tears by themselves. It's true. Faisal's way coming up here. See him and seeing him everywhere recently. Speaking of which. The faceless void defense. So yeah, this is core breaker. Yep. Most um, likely mid. Or, it could be three. We have seen him in a low run. Mid, it could be mid gyro, but no one's that crazy. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably curry spirit on him. It's yeah. been curry spirit on gyrocopter nearly 100 percent of games this season. It would be a weird time to to slop. Uh, not like you've seen those, but except for the uh, many that you stood in for. Did you know that you stood in when we were casting? And by the way, spoilers, again this week. Somehow you're standing in again this week. Every live game you've stood in for us for like half the season. Yeah, it's Naga coming up. I'm just better. Just All these people good. like, yo, take a week off. We need the we need to win a game. And then they hire me. It's five. How much money? Oh, $10 that's pretty good. If we win. And I'm if you, regardless. it's five dollars per person, ten dollars per person for the win. Every, every kill is another fifty cent bonus. And if uh, if you win a bracket game, then everybody gets to go out for pizza afterwards. No, no, no. Once we get to the brackets, price goes up. It's twenty bucks a game. Easy. Nice. See, yeah. that's 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 a that's a great business model. You get people dependent, and then you punish it. Been seeing yeah. a lot of void recently. I like the void vs combo. Not only has vs got some very annoying things to throw into Chronosphere. Well, she has very annoying thing, but that annoying thing is one of the worst things that you can have. For, like one of the nastiest accoutrements to a Chronosphere that double you wave of tear. It could also just be like a deny pick. Could be. Venge is a very good counter to Chronosphere. Actually, I don't think it's a deny pick. They said both supports. But it's also well they dwell. That's true. Um, yeah, the. Uh, deny picking Venge. Yeah, I mean, everybody's been picking. But it's Venge is very flavor of the league in the it's last couple of weeks. Venge, it's very stable support. It's got a stun, it's got a save, it's got minus armor, it's got AoE yep. damage. You can't go wrong. And a nice thing about it is, with the Void combo, not only do you have the Wave of Terror, it also means that in those unfortunate situations that you will run into sometimes, where the wrong friendly person is in your Chronosphere, you can just pop them out and be okay. I kind of don't like Naga Siren here. I can see why they picked it. It is, it's, like... They have enough... They have, like, relatively okay Illusion Clear between... Like Wave of Terror with its increased damage, and Gyro with his ultimate, and Spearbreaker Charge. I think the uh, Void's getting a Maelstrom. It's like not bad. The big thing they're thinking here, I think, is Naga is kind of unlikely to die in Chronosphere, especially if you don't get the Hoodwink oh. in it. I've just realized why they picked Naga Siren. It's Arch. That? Yeah, that's true. The uh, fucking Naga Siren. The um, the Naga Siren here. This is the first time he's actually playing it this season. I can see why it is. I think it's like, if it's in the Chronosphere, it's kind of unlikely to die, especially if Hoodwink or Viper are outside of it, right? They have some I mean, pretty decent anti-Chrono. That they, that, like, if Naga's not in Chrono, anytime Chrono comes out, she can just prevent the rest of his entire team from doing anything inside the Chronosphere. Yeah, what I was going to say is... Uh, the my BKB. She can survive Chrono and fight reset if she's not in the Chrono, and she has to be in it. If she's not in the Chrono, she just sings, and you're just sad. I don't think she has to be inside of it. Like, you need to catch... Well, at the moment, catching either the Viper or the Naga is the big thing. Although, I think the Viper's the bigger target right now. Depends on how the lanes go and everything, but... 
That's it's true. On the other hand, I feel like if the Nog is not in the Corona, she just runs over your team at the moment. Oh, maybe. maybe. LC. I don't know how the fight goes there, but yeah. Maybe. LC is interesting. Naga needs like three items. LC is just catch. They don't have a lot yeah. of catch. Um, There's a primal beast. Again, you're not wrong. Legion's a little weird. I feel like they could have gone for a more team fight here. <laughs> yeah, the they... They're, they're they, very single target damage. They have four <laughs> guys who, who like single target, and Naga Siren who likes to... Uh, Pull the strings during a big team fight, you know, has the virus set and everything. I guess Honestly, they're thinking of it in terms of. Really uh, like, I would have really liked the Mars here if they play it. The. It is. It is uh, Blue Jay. I think it's like. I, I mean, know. the problem is Mars is still super poo poo if he doesn't have like a god matchup. And no, I don't think he's that. got Mars is over 50. Is really good here. I don't think he has an over 50 on that team. It's like Mars prevents Spirit Breaker from charging your backline because you just get stuck in the wall. Unless he's at a really weird angle, which then he's at a really weird angle. Um, he's really good in the... You can isolate the supports, pick off the supports, prevent saves, deal a lot of damage. I will say, I do think I prefer it to LC in a game where you don't really have that clear of a dual target like feel like void is a pretty good contender for a guy who just kicks your ass you got a really no, easy I save for it in the form of the vs i was gonna say primal like, fear breaking and run over it you have you have a single dual target and it's void and you have a save for the dual target as well yeah spear breaker so it's gonna be very hard for you to get dual damage unless you're like absolutely snowballing this game in fairness she didn't know the primal beast i, I don't think that uh, was picked in front of the primal beast, right? That that it primal was, was after. Yeah, Legion was nine, yeah. So, but like, yeah, you know, I mean, Spear Breaker pick you up through your BKB and that fairly okay counter pick. Yeah, the or primal just... can uh, can pick you up through the through your BKB, can walk over you if you're not BKB. The Spear Breaker can charge through your duel and ruin it. VS can save it. It's it, it looks like a kind of rough LC it game. It just seems like a very hard LC game. And if you don't kill the Void inside the duel or have Lockdown to follow it up, he just walks off all of the damage. Uh, did somebody DC? <sighs> uh, somebody DC'd. Yeah. It was me. Very sad. Yep. I'm actually in this game as well. Yep. Um, you might see me. I am... The Radiant Tier 2 mid tower. Overall, I think I, uh... I think I'm generally going to favor the the Wizard Team lineup here. I don't think it's, like, a win or a loss in draft necessarily, but I definitely feel like they have the advantage at least. In particular... The, the 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 primal base especially it wasn't that blind of a pick I split it a lot this season. Okay, my this question, is an awkward place for him to charge. No, my question here is why are they even trying for this? If they absolutely get shit on level one, as is being shown here, the yeah. team has such shit level one. And yeah. Void, I think no, what, primal, no. Your face is void when time walk. You've got Jakiro, which slows attack speed. Viper, which just slows you. Legion, who got like a four-man fucking Q off. Yeah, and that Dark was Whip, that was like, painful. Oh, who's or not Dark? <laughs> Hoodwink, who just got like a. Th what? The uh, the 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 voice line got me there. The 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 got yeah, the terrible first blood, and then Naga's like, that's gotta suck. Mm. Tab up briefly here to make sure everything's still running properly. So sorry for the hitch. I'll let you know when it's not. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't. I'm sure. I'm sure you'll be very audible if that happens. Yeah, awkward, awkward first blood. I was gonna say, um, in the middle of that, one big thing is like, like Beast doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything to like level three. Like this guy is just a creep until then. They smoked for that too, like. That's not weird. I would like to see G-Raf just clicking ice here. Like, just right-click him. 
There's no creeps that are close to dying. Just click, just click them, click them, please. Yeah, you oh. have a you have a nice little queue and everything. Even if you're worried about taking creep no, aggro, no, no, right? No. Don't use the queue level one. Level one queue does literally no damage. Wait for level two until you waste your mana bar. But just right click the man. There you go. Just right click. That's one. So. One. <laughs> With that all being said, okay, that was uh. Faceless Lloyd turned on his hacks there for that nut. We'll hit there. The. Yeah, fucking. Oh, okay. That. I think Venge got the last hit. Venge did get the last hit. Yep. It's time range. for everybody's favorite call part of the cast, a roll call. So, for Blade Fury Burgers, pause one, Lambert on the Faceless Void. Pause two, you've got Ice on the Primal Beast. Pause three, Ramanolo on the Spirit Breaker. Pause four, DJ Curry Spice on Guess Who. And pause five, you've got Wizard, captain of the team on the VS here. Dark Ace in a bit of trouble. Okay, it's a baller Acorn. I mean, Acorn's just Oop. a really high damage spell. I feel like this is not Very fire. at all. Like, uh, there was a, a, the wave. Yeah, there was that, that, yeah, that was a little awkward. Lost the wave and then some to Under Tower. That was not worth it. Meanwhile, on the other side of the I coin. I still don't think it's worth it, because they're outside of XP range. For the Wagyu slash Wagyu beefs, pause one, you've got Architudus on the Naga Siren. Pause two, you've got g Raff slash the Beatus on the Viper, sponsored by Rye Whiskey. Pause three, you've got Blue Jay on the Legion Commander. Pause four, you've got Dark Ace on the Hoodwank. And pause five, captain of the team, you've got Tall Balls, the only guy with the, uh, the clan tag, on Jakiro. What a baller. The Hoodwink started fucking Tango's boots, and it's like, you know what, I'm gonna win this way. So far, has been. 11 to 5. That's more to. Yeah. More keen to Legion than Faces Void losing an entire wave under tower. Yeah, but let's pretend that's not the case. No. Alright, let's not then. Okay. And yet, somehow, I guess the if the wave pushed up that far, there's no way they can contest that. Oh. Primal Beast. Okay. Does not care about your your silly W. He's just gonna walk away. Though he does care uh, about your silly Q. Uh, no, this is awkward. He's faster than you. Just <laughs> he just walks away. Turns 360 degrees and walks away, as I used to say. Pe people today don't know that meme. These damn kids today. I tell you what. These damn kids today. These damn kids today have paused twice in this three mini game. Look good, Blue Jay, with this fancy ass. I'm gonna make my entire message blue, too. True. It's the bluest he's ever been. Never has a J been more blue than this. Uh, actually, that, that Lambert color looks a little more blue than Blue Jay's color. Ooh. Oh, no, Wiz. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, yes, Wiz? He's immune to anything while flying through the air on his queue. It's a little unfortunate. <laughs> I could a motherfucker while that happened. Speci I mean, speaking of a little unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate timing on this, too. Yeah, have you ever had. Have you ever tried to Laguna Blade a face this void, but he pressed Q and dodged the entire damage? It was annoying. Yeah, instead of having him repeal damage throughout the entire time, he repeals damage once and then he's just immune to damage for the rest of it. <laughs> I like the phrasing, repeals damage. Well, <laughs> Faceless <laughs> Void goes to the Supreme Court. <laughs> hey, yo, can we get that damage taken off my record? <laughs> I've been a tax-paying citizen all my life. Are you kidding? That guy doesn't pay taxes. He gets as much free shit as he can. Well, where do you think all that net worth goes after the games? Uh, to Clazarim. He's a prophet, technically. No, 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 no. Power outage, okay. No, listen, after the game, Void pays his taxes. He he gives 50% yeah, of his net worth to the government. He gives 50% of his net worth to Nectarine, like you were talking about. No, 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 think about it this way. Clajarine is a god, right? So if he gives all of his earnings to the god, then he that's that's a tax write-off right there. He that's true. Pay taxes. Because he's giving it all to a god. 
that's religious donations. Tax write off. Uh. I don't know what happened. He died. Oh, he just got hit by all the buttons at the exact same moment. Oh, he just. There was a lot of buttons being pressed. And he got hit by all of them? And yeah, he just died. got netted next to a giant creep wave, is really what it is. Poor Lambert. Legion Q does a lot of damage. Surprisingly, yeah. Unsurprising. But yeah, Faceless Gavoy goes what? to the Supreme Court, testifies in front of Congress, and uh, gets all the damage repealed. Yeah. Your Honor, I can't stand for this damage. <sighs> Your Honor, the way I see it, it's unfair to do this to a disabled man. I can't see. You can see. Well, that's not what he's gonna tell the court. Yeah, that's why he always show up in the neck brace, right? Just because he's one of those, like, weird, uh, people that just... is... Hey, I'm just gonna surgically remove my eyes. <laughs> just have... his face there, because my cult believes in that. Doesn't mean uh, he's... I, I wish he was using the, uh, the, 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 the set where he is literally a faceless void. Like, there's just a big stupid void where his face is supposed to be. Oh, you're talking about the one where he's got a helmet, which is the big fucking purple circle? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that one. I love that one. Listen, the important thing is... <laughs> the important thing is... If you're in court, you lie about it! Who's gonna who's gonna look it up? You look like you can't see. They don't know you can secretly kind of see. I mean, all yeah, faceless okay. voids can really see unless they turn their monitors off. But, you know. Yeah. See... Like, Ooh, they're going all in on Viper here. Uh, Viper shouldn't die in this. Is he shouldn't? I don't know. If he just walked under his tower, I feel like he was completely fine. Yeah, Spear Breaker's five. It is not a support SP, so it might have been trouble there. You mean three? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. He's level five, he's boss three, so there might have been trouble there. He's not six, which, if he was six, he was guaranteed to die, but... No, oh, I feel like Viper just walks under tower and just starts clicking people with his Q. I don't know. I think you need a. Maybe I think you need a rotation there. I think if you get a rotation, it's probably fine. If you don't, you're probably dead. Just get knocked out from under the tower. You just get pummeled. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. You're crazy. That's why you're Kitty. That's true. Shoutouts to Kitty. Shout out to the itty bitty Kitty community. It's true, which you're part of, of course. I, I said shoutouts to Kitty, like you're not right here, of course. Yeah, fuck. Speaking of, you're not right here, Wizard no longer right here. Lambert is very enthusiastic about right-clicking dudes in this game. Indeed, no longer right there. I didn't know that changing your message color also changed the color on the left when you kill somebody. It changed the golden color as well. Nice. Lambert has been having a lot of fun beating squirrels in this lane. He's not really... Oh, hi, Viper. First, Gank, level 7, decided he was not happy about Gyrocopter interfering in his lane, decided to go the other way. Dead fucking... the fuck? You know, in hindsight, maybe, a pro maybe it wasn't a great idea to pull the entire offlane out there for the, the kill on Viper. Do you want know what happened there? Viper just walked up and murdered an old man, which is... It's true. ...kind of what he would do personality-wise. Yeah, if you think about it, it is lore... it is lore-friendly. It is lore-friendly. Oh my god, look at how fast this primal beast is! Holy crap, rest in peace! Rip Bozo. This is what happens when you give primal haste. Such a <laughs> she was so close to 6 too. Did you see, uh, Spirit Breaker about to steal that last hit from Faceless Void? I could actually hear Lambert screaming. I mean... Spearberg has more last hits than Faceless Void, so true. by all rights, it's his. Yeah, it's Although true, I he's basically the real pause one. I have no idea what happened, but it might be because Venge has 14 last hits. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Well, that probably has a bit to do with the fact that Faceless Void has spent some time on the locker room. Bonk. So is Venge. I don't, That's I just, true. I have no idea why, but Venge, has 14 last, but Venge has 14 last hits. It could be the small camp last hits. Could be just two of the Cobalt games. It could be the fact that uh, Faceless Void has spent a lot of time running around punching squirrels. That too, and losing waves under tower. Oh, wait, they can have tower, no more top T1. 
Yeah, no, they're just letting Naga do Naga things. Yeah, they are really letting her go here. Although Arch is doing some crack. He thinks this is a safe place to farm. But it's fine because I do the same sort of crack all the time. Well, that's that's true. I have seen you do a lot of crack, Kitty. Oh my god, where's the bash, bro? Uh, level 1 bash. There it's we like go. 16% chance. <laughs> Although it is unfortunate. It, small camps, that's the, 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 the worst small camp to attempt to deny yourself to. It's just unlucky, I guess, for him. Yeah. For Mr. Blue Blue Jay. And Blues to Blue Jays. That has gotten Void to level 6 now, so if he wants to take his frustrations out on the squirrel that he ate so much, he is uh, more than able to do it. Spirit Breaker TPing back home. It's going to be an interesting time for Arisa. Got charge. Reset switch. Yeah. Be nothing to a, to a spirit breaker. Yeah, I know. What I'm thinking about is he is going to charge. This is a very interesting time and a strategic level for him to be doing it. Everybody's looking at these two guys in their triangle. Faceless waves here. Who are these stacks for? Who are these stacks for? Well, this is Radiance. I'm guessing this guy. Primal, probably. Boy, definitely is not going to be able to do this. Oh, it's Gyrocopter! Of course! He actually took that big creep. I should have known it was for the Gyroscopter. And Gyro is probably the one who stacked this, so he did it all for himself. So actually, it's going to be a big stack party. Everybody's going to get together. It's not an abnormal way to do it. If you, can't, if you don't really have a good stack farmer this early in the game, especially for the Ancients, then just party farm it. Yep. If you look at the net worth chart here, for the most part, Dyer is in the lead. Even though Argatuthis is very far ahead in the last hits, he's actually not terribly far ahead of uh, the Brown Beast for money. These ganks on the Viper that are happening again. If you look at everybody else in the game, it's like despair. Like yeah. Spear Breaker and Faces Void are down for oh my God. gold. Uh, he might have honestly been saved by. Get the fucking bubble from he that the the vs ult vs swap oh the vent shield yeah i don't yeah. think that's safe um it have, i didn't hit that shit. 150 I, I don't think he had 150 hp left over at the end of that if he did it was very close no, but I, don't, I don't know how long that lasts after the shield gets i think broken. he had it i think he had he doesn't have a bubble or anything yeah uh, ramanolo First duel of the game, uh, this is unlikely to win. He charged... No, Rama, no. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, he lives. He charged like... one inch and he lived. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that's one of those times where you just drop Jakiro all because fuck it, why not? Yeah, yeah, you really should there, I think. Just, uh... Yeah, maybe it was on cooldown, but I don't think so. I haven't seen it in use. I watched it the entire time. It was not on cooldown. Yeah, when you have things like that, or you have the the snapfire, for example, you should probably shouldn't be picking snap right now. If you have that or the snapfire, you just drop that raw on your target. I'm still not 100% convinced Spear Breaker actually dies there. It's a pretty poor target to duel, but... Oh, I mean, you just have to delay it a little bit, but it's very hard, because it's just so tanky. A very dead arch. <sighs> Ooh! Bonk, bonk, bonk. My Spear Breaker is coming here from the other side of the entire universe. There we go. So Arch is dead as fuck. Yeah, he's very dead. Viper... Um, does get a kill. Is... Actually gets the Primal Actually, as well. Shit, Arch got both of those kills. And it's a Dual Wing comes up. Arch got all three of those kills. That was so fucking worth it. Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> He actually walks away. He was the first one in that fight to die, and he walks away with 818 gold. More than the entire yeah. Radiant got. That's kind of funny. Yeah, because he got all three. Oh no. No, DJ Curry Spice. Look, he's now 2k ahead of fucking Primal. He's fucking 2k Bonk. ahead of fucking Primal. Bonk. Oh man, this is a very awkward fight. This Macropire has cut this apart I... quite a bit. There seems to be some miscues on the on the wizard team. See, look at that. 
no attack speed on the, on the bear. Yeah, he also is very, very slow at the moment. Okay, yeah, this is this is no, looking bad. Viper did exactly what I said. Then. He got charged, or the, somebody got charged by the bear, and fucking Viper just threw down a W the moment the charge left. He couldn't do anything. By the bear? I don't see any lone druids or of the scam. Not bear, bear. <laughs> The, uh, there seems to be some issues coordination-wise on the wizard team right now. That, at, at the very least, some uh, big morale damage being dealt to them there. That that Magrapire that came down in that fight there just made everyone start panicking, making bad decisions really quick. Honestly, the play there was just to leave. Probably, yeah. It yeah, probably was, but everybody everybody kind of did, like, the, 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 the Scooby-Doo runaway thing where the, they, they just kind of... Ran in circles in the spot before uh, even trying. There, there's a term for it. It's called pot committed. <laughs> it's a poker sure. term. <laughs> Where you put anything into the pot, therefore you must stay in the pot because you can spend money in it. Therefore, one person died, therefore you must continue fighting until the end. Viper! Okay, well, this sucks. That's this scary. super sucks! Wow! The oh no sphere. It's actually gonna work out anyway, though. Not enough people here for the dire. No, it was just like the perfect primal charge. He hit the two people he needed to. That was a that was a great useless chronosphere. I've never seen a chronosphere do so little and get three kills somehow. Two thousand four hundred six gold passes in the hands of the radiant, mostly to Gyro, funnily enough, though a big chunk also to the primal beast. Well, yeah, Gyro did walk away with two of those kills. He totally yeah. earned both of those. Although, I mean, uh, look at fucking. They're still 4k ahead on Dire because. Yeah, because uh, the Naga Siren is just still farming and is a flash farmer. It's entirely the Naga Siren. <sighs> yeah, literally half of the money is uh, Naga Siren's uh, net worth right now. No, no, no. The, the, the difference is entirely just enough. Naga Siren. Dire scanning out. Between basically, the gold difference is almost entirely. Well, the uh, the two the the pause two and the pause three are a grand above the pause one three. It's okay. All I have to do is stab in. Watch the fucking game. Well, I'd I'd like to, but the thing is, to make the stream work, I have to tab out and look at Discord for a second, so it wakes back up, and then I have to look at the game. Uh, that's the way I fix it, you see. Anyway, the uh, the pos two, the pos three, the viper, the LC, are grand, or at least they were last check above the uh, the void and the spirit breaker. So it was about like Naga Siren half of it, the uh, other two, the other half of it. Well, at some point, the gold, the gold difference was three k, and Naga Siren was exactly three k above the primal. So. That's where I meant the gold difference was just the Naga Siren. Little pokes going out here, nothing too committed. Oh, Bonk. Ow, actually. Oh, well, I guess Hoodwing has no HP, never mind. It has no items, really. Living in Skid Row. You know what they say, it's better to be living in Skid Row than in Skid Marks. I've never heard that before. Well, you've never talked to they, clearly. They uh, say it all the I, time. I don't think I've ever talked to them. <laughs> no, not them, they. Oh, Two different okay. guys. Two different people? Yeah. You would not want to get them confused. Lambert is casually farming, but to say the least, uh, it's not quite going to the same level as uh, old Arkatu this, who is pulling in dangerously close to double Lambert's net worth. Oh, no. And has just randomly found this primal beast here in the jungle. Who's gonna pop his first BKB? And then try to TP. He's not going anywhere, as it turns out. Awkward place for Ice to be, to say the least. Time to die! The line with the weirdest delivery in the game. Top tower is under Good duel one there. Did take five people to do it, but who cares? It's a clean duel win in an awkward LC game, so. I am unfortunately still at 1845. Oh, can't wait. I was gone for a full 50 seconds. 
Nice. It isn't like I saw literally nothing that happened for the last oh. 50 seconds. Well, spoilers! Uh, Primal Beast gets jumped by five in the jungle, dueled and dies. Well, I saw the Primal Beast getting jumped by five in Naga Sirens. I'm assuming. Well, it was, it was five heroes in addition to the five Naga Sirens, so I guess if you want to be very technical about it, he was jumped by ten. Ark yeah. is uh, trying to make his little debut here. This is a funny way to go about it. Just sing on top of all the all the teepees. All right. Interesting. Uh, interesting little setup there. Do you know what that's called? Being funny. A power move. There you go. He walked under tower, forced two teepees to the bottom lane, and then just left. He forced two TPs, he also forced the Spear Breaker to charge as well. I mean, that's up in two seconds, don't get me wrong, but... He got everybody to stop doing everything they were doing, and just look at him, and then he's just like, never mind. Changed my mind. Viper, breaking new ground with the Mage Slayer. I don't like the fact that Viper's not gonna even go in for the fucking Hurricane Bike. Sort of like your bread and butter. Insert no, no. Mage Slayer is the bread and butter of everybody this patch. Oh. It's all mids are eating. I get it, but you're so effective. I'm like. Did you just see that? Did you see Blue Jay blink one centimeter? No. Well, he just. Lagged at that exact moment. He blinked one centimeter. Three man smoke on the radiant here. Taking a look at these uh, these guys here. I don't know if they know these guys are here. Well, they certainly do now. Else he blinked onto this. But no, they still don't actually. She was behind vision the whole time. No? No, she's getting charged. Well, the hoodwink is. It was almost a well timed bushwhack. But I feel like Jakiro could have popped fucking ice path at any time and he would have just charged into it. Man, you want to talk about power moves? Every time Naga Siren shows up, Void's Faceless Void just right clicks Fountain. <laughs> Spearbreaker charging deep in here alongside some air support is going to take out the. Well, oh my god, that's the saddest thing I've ever seen. The LC duel happens, LC gets chronosphered, LC still wins the duel because Wizards take too much DOT. From the Viper ult. Yeah. Does die for it immediately. Very awkward fight in general. Two for two. Both teams losing their three and four. Given the uh, the Radiant is the down team right now, it hypothetically benefits them, though they use more skills to do it. Are you and sure? Gonna be looking at the push. Day. Pretty confident. 1,207 gold passes in the hands of the Radiant, so frust at this point it's got to be frustrating. I mean, not like they know, they can't look at this chart, but all this money is so frequently going to gyrocopters, ending up with such a high portion of the kills. They found ice again. That might not be the thing you want to do if you're the, uh, if you're the primal beast here. Duel comes out, instant win. Ice uh, needs to stop being around here. Every time Ice shows up in this part of the map, it's just bad news. Do you want to know something funny? What's that? Blue Jay's three items in his backpack, and he was just at the secret shop, and he sold it, none of them. That's true, can we point that out? Yeah, well, I mean, he's got to keep his Quelling Blade just for uh, the nature's profit. Ah, uh, yes. Forest boots. Do you remember that oh. shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trail of fucking trees. Yeah, I, 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 I miss those. Those are funny. They were so dumb. If there, if there is one, one of those dumb early era jungle items, I would unironically bring back. Where the hell is Trident? It seems like such an obvious omission from they the game. They don't have to bring back Trident. They just have to bring back Trident recipe again. Oh, there you go. Like, uh, yeah, I don't, like, I, I understand why they stopped having the, like, the jungle items that you build. That was ludicrously stupid, but, like, have Trident as, like, a regular item, right? You know, are, are you are you afraid you're going to get sued by the guys who make the gum? Just bring that back. First rush of the game going down here goes straight to Naga Siren, who at this point has to feel 10 feet tall, right? She's 6k ahead of anybody. 
every Something neutral creep after 26 minutes, a 1 in 100 turn grants to drop trident. Yeah, in full. Oh. Just so that there's a chance you get it every game. Every, every creep has a chance of dropping trident, but it is actually the gum. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a new Dota sponsorship. Listen up, Ice Frog. This is how you're going to recoup that battle cup, or that battle pass money. You see those, you see those fucking salves? They're no longer salves. That's Pepsi Max right there. <laughs> Man, we, th this is a great way to make the game so much worse. It's such an easy way. <laughs> you see that, you know that bottle you drink? That's no longer bottle. It's Mountain Dew. It's Mountain Fucking Dew. It's Baja Fucking Blast. Viper takes a big drink of Baja Blast. And every time you do, he's like, REFRESHING! Ice is in a weird spot in the back lines again. You won't believe what happens next! The one spell in the game that can cancel a PKBTP. Actually, no, there's two on the other team. The one spell on that team, I guess. Yeah. But the, and you know that clarity you're drinking from? No longer. That's gamer subs. And tangos are green giant peas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, green giant. Can we get... Vegetable people are just can... watching fucking Dota 2. Can we get green giant as well? Has green giant <laughs> ever sponsored anything? I think they sponsored like the Super Bowl. Like yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's like, you know, back in like the early, like, you know, Green Giant presents Masterpiece Sita in like the 1950s or something, but yeah, everybody was doing it back then. This Void, this Void inventory compared to this Naga Siren inventory, I don't know, bro. 7k oh, apart. 7k gold. Yeah. still the gold lead. The entire gold lead is on the Naga. It feels like Naga Siren is just single-handedly just sitting over so much of this game. Like, that so little attention was paid to her for so long, and what a major backfire it's been. Well, click on the primal. Okay. Uh, he, once he gets his eggs, it'll be a lot easier to kill, but I think he should have gotten for the traditional fighting build, the blade build that he gave me. He needed something to prevent himself from just fucking dying. Yeah, Naga's actually looking kind of conceivably dead here. I mean, they're trying, they're damned. This Viper just, just Viper struck the uh, Spirit Breaker. Honestly, if Primal Beast got that charge off properly, I don't know what it was, whether or not it was a Primal issue or whether it was the Barracks issue and just where. Primal got shot out of the barracks, but Primal needed to be <gasps> Oh no, bro! Okay, he's kind of kicking Elsie's ass, though. Okay. Elsie didn't pop blade now. Yeah. Blade now. She was dead. Oh no! Okay. The, the the blade mail wore off there. I was gonna say, oh no, Elsie cut! I would have laughed. Uh, oh my god, they're so desperate to get him. It's a song. Yeah. Not gone, actually. Oh, he ran out oh of mana. my god. Yo, he TP. He's got no mana, though. He's dead. No, he's fine. Oh, let, me, let me see these tread switches. Oh, click on the void. I want to see this tread swap. He no tread swap. That's why you're out of mana. No, he, he does. It's just like a frame. I, I saw it, yeah. He tread swap for the Mask of Madness, but not his Q. Or for the Trangate. Or for the point of the finale, I mean, he was under attack. He was getting fucked up by the entire enemy team at that point. You hear that? You hear that Lambert? Kitty thinks she's better than you. <laughs> Who am I again? Kitty. I think she probably would say that. Ages expires. But I think she would say that. I mean, I think you would say that. I would. We're going to uh, watch this scenic shot of Spearbreaker charging a creep as I uh, dig with my volume again as you've gotten steadily quieter. What if I just did this? Yeah, you could do that. 
Still and watching that scenic shot of Spearbreaker at the creep, though. Yeah. It's gonna get louder for no reason. Oh, come on, gyrocopter, come in, you bitch. You got glimmer cape. It's true, he does have the glimmer. Uh, I feel like they're gonna charge up this hill and they're gonna fucking die. No, actually, the, the, the Naga Sirens is gonna charge down the hill and then they're going to die. I mean, technically, gyrocopter walked up the hill. Technically, if you want to be semantic about it. It's true. Which I do, because I'm petty. Though uh, I would not say it really goes within the spirit, man. This is this is the definition of yikes. Look at these two. Yeah. Best day of Arca Two. This is life. Honestly, at this point, do we even need to be KP on Void? Just get like full damage at this point. You've got the Manta. What is yeah. Be blocked? Yeah, something I said before, it's like, when you're down this much, <laughs> all like BKB it. does is just make you die a little bit slower. No, not even that. What does the enemy team have that he doesn't just purge with Blink or with BKB or with the Manta or Lincolns? You need the to Viper like, Strike, that's a... That's a set the Lincolns, you fuck. Yeah, I know. But that's blocked by Lincolns. Well, I... You were saying BKB at first. I meant... What, what is it Good save. Manta Lincolns. The answer is, yeah, basically nothing. Though it is pretty so easy to pop the Lincolns, I guess. Arc is dead. Arch is dead. That's a very Everybody was less uh, less committed to the idea of that team fight than he was. No, no, no. He, pretty they were bad. Also, they were committed to the team fight, however. They ran into the issue of they got one shot by Primal. Um, so when they did come in, and they're like, hey, let's take this fight, they ran out of health bars. Um, and then they tried to take the fight anyway. They're like, hey, let's take this fight. Chrono just got fucked by her Naga song. Um, and, uh, yeah, it didn't work. Can we see the post-fight summary? There we go. I want to see 5,000 mo 5, monies, yeah. 5,000 gold into the Radiant War chest, mostly into the hands of Faceless Floyd, and of course, once again, the Gyrocopter. 1,000 gold, 1,500 falls out of the pockets of the Dire, mostly out of the Naga Siren, who just lost 500 gold for that, uh... Where's this Kingdom Denver. Hearts? Monies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingdom Hearts reference? You sure you're not, Randy? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I wonder if uh, Kitty, who is you, knows what that series is. I mean, considering I have a tattoo of it, I hope I would know what the fuck this series is. Kitty seems like the kind of person who either has never heard of Kingdom Hearts in her life and thinks that or everybody is a geek. The entire lore. Yeah, or like wrote fan fiction of it when she was thirteen. That's like the two options, basically. <laughs> No, here's the thing. Kingdom Hearts fans spend so much time trying to understand the lore behind Kingdom Hearts that they have no time to create their own. There's no fanfics about Kingdom Hearts. It's just whether or not you understand the lore, which if you say you do, you don't. You're a liar. Get fucked. <laughs> shoutouts to, uh... Shoutouts to that, that woman who made the, the soundtrack for Super Mario RPG. Doing God's work out there with that remake. For sure. Hashtag dearly beloved. His uh, speaking of, of a song from Speaking dearly of dearly beloved, Dear Roshan is getting fucked in the ass. Yeah, dearly beloved is gonna be the first few words of uh, Roshan's funeral, I believe. Yeah. Ark and Siege just once again. Dearly beloved Rosh was a creature that we only kill repeatedly just so we can have an Aegis. Get Does it sound ass. that beloved when you put it like that? Eh. As I said, get fucked, big guy. I wonder if uh, g Raph knows that you can place Rosh's banner literally anywhere you want. I wonder if g Raph knows you have to place Roshan's banner. I do not like this build by fucking Viper. I just get a beak. Or something. You don't need a pipe. Yeah, they don't... I, I'm, a, I'm a big pipe fan, but like... For the no Primal problem. Trample? That's like it. No, no, no. I guess he's the eggs, got, though. No, he's already got two magic resistance items. He's gonna die to a Chronosphere, because he just gets clicked three times. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think maybe... 
no it's... silver viper, and I want to see what this man's magic resistance is. Diminishing returns to the max. The percent uh, magic. Eighty-five percent magic resist. Diminishing returns. He got. He got the trade. So he's holy got the crap. Trait. He's got three items that he purchased that gives him magic resistance, and he's got the fucking flame cloak. This man takes no magic damage, but it doesn't yeah. matter because he's got forty percent armor. And he's just gonna die inside of a fucking chronosphere. This is a five man chrono! This is a five man Immediately chrono. gets rid of the, uh, of two. Both the Jakiro and the, uh, LC. Of course, as previously, uh, sort of mentioned, you have the, the Naga Siren will walk away, but they're chasing it this time. Viper dead. dead. Look, look what happens. You just get Funny hooked, headwink. you die. Um, Faceless Void's taking a spill here, though. Uh, Faceless Void forgot to press the Q button. Yeah, as, uh... I was about to say, is this going to be the part where Naga Siren 1v5 is? The answer to that is no. no. As it turns out. I mean, maybe now, because they have no spells. What about that one? That's one spell. What about that one? Yeah, maybe. Good man to dodge there. Like oh no, ice! Not like this. You don't have the damage to kill anymore. Actually, maybe. There we go. The Spearbreaker stopped missing his attacks. Yeah, they can kill. T Raf says that. T Raf does. Tall Balls is so desperately trying I, to reach that. I really don't like this Viper build. Like, but do you not like the Viper build? Out of curiosity. Like why pipe? That could be like a hurricane bike, and you'd be killing everybody. And you'd have a defense mechanism, or that could be, I don't know, a Scotty, and you'd have 4,000 HP. Sure, Shia, the, uh, the Aghanim Scepter, which is a major pain in the ass for Void, considering he's probably elapsed the, the Viper. He's probably going to elapse Samantha BKB on other things. And that damage is surprisingly nasty as well. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Dive bomb? Yeah, yeah. The, the issue is, you just die inside of Chronosphere while he's bkb and your shit does nothing. That's also true, but I mean, hey, if you're committed to not living in Chronosphere, if, you, if you've if you accepted your death, right, might as well get something that's at least got grounds for comedy. Viper's now going AC. He is now going... Die. Die. Congratulations, yeah. you're dead. <sighs> you played yourself. The LC is now also going AC. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, no one of you's gotta Viper, figure it out. LC Viper is gonna go Bloodstone. Oh my god. I mean, surely, if you... What, what, what the real deal is, is... Go Lotus Orb, go, Sha go Shiva's something. Yeah, the god. Shiva's... Uh, the the, the thing everybody says. You just died in seven hits there to a faceless void. Seven. It takes no you were time counting. to kill you. I wasn't counting, I'm roughly estimating. <laughs> but you need armor. You're an agility hero that has shit at you gain. It's a good thing you said that or else you could have been sued. And it would have been a real shame to see you in court, Kitty. Considering that you're definitely Kitty. Oh, Ice turned his hacks on so the net disappeared. Don't worry, I'll Blue Jay turned his mountain. vision off, so he can't actually get this. Don't worry, I'll get Mountain Dew to sponsor me with their lawyers. The, yeah, better better call Mountain Dew. Right. Chronosphere with the Gerald in it. Hope Link kind of ruins it. Oh no. Oh bro, not like this. Uh, she's not going anywhere. Holy crap! No, that was a gyro rocket. Four seconds done. Yeah. She was getting beat up by the the Faceless Void with the BKB up, and she was getting the the Gyro Rocket after. She literally just that was just messed up. This game looked so in the bag just very as, recently, but as, holy crap! As I said, there's just a lot of shit happening. Your Naga was so far ahead, and then you just guys bought and played like potatoes. Like you need to play around. You guys have no team fight, and you're sitting there trying to team fight. Play for pickoffs. Just choke the map out, and they get no farm. Don't take the fights. You will lose every single fight you try to take, unless you're five, ten k gold ahead. And, now and hey, they were for a while. 10K. 
Now that, now that you're no longer six K gold ahead, you don't have any advantage. The other team just has so much better team fight than you. They have the best team fight spell in the game, Chronosphere, and they have like fucking primal with the Shivas and the BKB and a break on your entire team because that's what his egg does. Very miserable if you're Viper as well, by the way. Yeah, just TP out on primal. Or just do that. That also works. Still here. This is exactly what we need, but we need to get the kill. Uh. Fire the ult. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Does it click on Legion for me? How much damage? 110. Jesus, I'm surprised it's even that much. Yeah, it's not the best LC, but I mean, for the, the tier of game this is for LC. I mean, we were talking about it earlier. This is a shit game for LC to get actual dual damage, and they're all just either A, so tanky, or B, you have no way to actually get damage in there without the rest of your... Yeah. Oh, um, Chihiro's stuck on the high ground because of four staff. And now he's doing a funny spin. Yeah, I mean, I guess part of the problem is, if you really look at it, is like... And it's something I really didn't consider too much until seeing it in action. It's like, Jakiro, big D.O.T. Viper, big D.O.T. Hoodwink has a big alpha damage attack, but has to be charged up for an hour and a half. You know, Five when Naga Siren... Longer than the duration of the duel. When Naga Siren is not physically present, all of the damage that is that this team has is very, very long. Slow. Does not, slow. uh, yeah. Does not really, I... not really conducive. To the duel. I don't like this late diff disperser. I don't know what else to buy, but I don't like the late. <laughs> I I don't know what I want. I just know I don't want that. No, I don't know. I feel like that's an item you buy to you buy early if you're gonna get. This late in the game, I don't know if it's worth it to get. Open the shop tab. Okay. She should probably get. I'm guessing blitz knuckles. Go to upgrades. Okay, fine. You, Honestly, you, you... a BKB on Nagas Iron wouldn't be the worst here. Um, although it doesn't really help you against them because they just have three things, four things that go through it. Middle tower is under uh, I don't even know. It's tough. Yeah. You know, I was looking at the spells for Noli, but I don't think that's working here. This is a good Naga ult. Um, it's so it's getting worse. Place. Uh, the, the entire macro basically just got eaten. Uh, it's Hex macro. No, that it's not Hex macro. Um, uh, this is good. No, you had no follow for it. I don't know why your Jakira walked 8,000 miles away from the song and didn't try to use Ice Path when the song was ended on the four man Ice Path that was available. Oh god. It's getting so bad, the. the... Naga Siren at this point, just dying instantly. No, 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 but here's the thing, here's the thing. So Naga had a good setup for an ice path. There was like a four-man ice path that was available off of that. I don't know how the fuck anything happened. I didn't see an ice, ice path disappearing at the end of that song. So you have seven seconds of the song duration for ice path to come off cooldown. I think that was just a miscommunication. You need yeah. to have ice path there. What's the cooldown on ice path? That is nine seconds. And Okay, you definitely had Ice Path up. There's no reason you don't end that song with your entire team in position with an Ice Path and then Hoodwink AoE because there was three people standing right on top of each other. All three of them should be dead. That is true. It does It does look like there's some miscue going on. It's funny enough, it started out with some miscue on the part of the... Uh, no, because what happened the... there... I'll... What happened exactly there was Naga got a really good song off at a, or had a good, got a good song off at a good time for people that were grouped up, and I don't know what happened, but the Naga's entire team just left. They all went like outside of blink range from the Naga Siren. Which they is were all static. chasing because the only the only guys they had actually gotten in the song were the Jabronis. They were looking for Void, going uphill looking for Void. They did not no, get him. That's not what I mean. Uh, that's what Naga's team was doing. That's no, where no. they went. Hoodwink and Shakira went in the other direction. They went back towards the, the Radiant Tier 2. <laughs> True. But I'm talking and... Viper and LC. No, no, was, Viper LC was, was dueling there. over here. LC was dueling over there, but Viper wasn't. Viper was going north. That was just a shit, a terribly communicated teamfight. Yeah. 
Yeah, it nobody... see, it seemed like um, like they had a really good song, and then just zero follow up for the song. Yeah, they had they had a really good song. I don't think anybody was ready for this song. I don't think yeah, I don't really even think if you if you looked at how Ark was like standing in the middle of that, I don't even think Ark realized how the song was going for them. Nah, like, I, I, that's the thing. The song has like a five six second duration. You have six seconds to react to the song to the good yeah. song you have. I well, I mean, like here, here's zone. here's here's the problem with that. Is, is sometimes you get five seconds and you're like, is this actually good without the void? Do we go in or do we not? We This team is 90% void in BB. They're not in this. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And that, then your five seconds are over. You know what I mean? I think that's what was going on there. I don't know. Regardless, it, it, it had the makings to be it, a really good team. Yeah, it was, it was awkward. Disaster. That's... That's a good song, I guess. Although you're yep. leaving your Viper behind. You need to save your Viper. You can't just run out like this. Your Viper is very dead. Uh, Bonk. You just TP out Bonk. there, I think. Bonk. You just song and then everybody TPs out there. You can't just leave without your Viper. He got the Voodoo Mask and then queued up the AC. Queued up I the mean, AC that the... LC is halfway through. Without the faces, Void, you're still really hard to kill on Viper because no one else does any damage to you. Yeah, that's true. Literally four of the five people are only only magic damage, basically. The only problem is that this guy's doing 75% of this team's damage, so... Well, Primal Q does physical damage. But that's... Yeah, but that's baby damage. Come on now. And then the... the... It's like 400 damage, actually. It's not terrible. But I get what you're saying. Split push going okay. on here at bot. We're gonna take a off. Yeah, take That's a duel off the SP. Just the Chrono wanted two. Definitely wanted to get two of that. They did not get it, but No. That's fine. Can you can you believe that there was a time in this game where the Dyer was like ten K ahead where Naga Siren looked like she could legitimately just one V five the whole world. They lost one team fight and it's just never they, ever they happened since. Team fight. They lost three terrible team fights in a row. They had three team fights in a row where they were diving stupid shit. They were taking bad team fights, and or they just got grouped up in one shot. In the interest of fairness, the the team fights that followed, whether or not the uh, the intentions were good, the execution did basically turn out like the fight that happened after the okay rip ice back back to his old habits. The team fights that happened afterwards were still like. You know, after the after the the double death, it's like the next team fight that happens, Nagasari just dies in like two seconds. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's, it's every everything past that one lost team fight lost just feels couple, horrible. They lost a couple team fights and then Naga died in a couple team fights in a row, and it's just been rough ever since. She's still at the top of the board, but I mean, she's really not, not going to get much scarier than this expect. at this point. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. She's got she's got Ag's blessing and moon shard and that's well I mean she could replace power treads if she wants to but not much more more to go. Then the same is true for Void at least. I feel like his team generally is gonna scale out a little bit better unless Elsie gets a million dual damage which she hasn't. She good assassination on the VS there. They were denied the T3. That's actually funny. No reason to do that. I still dis I still dislike this Viper build. Still thinking about it? But I, I really like the, the voodoo mask into the AC is, is a if strange doing, one for me. If you're trying to frontline here, just buy a Sheevas. It'll yeah. boost your damage at this point more than the AC will. Yeah, there's there's a reason everybody builds it. It's a super good Shiva's game. You've got loads of interesting, cool spells. I mean, this, if this Viper hits 25 and it just goes, oh, this talent is obscene on Viper. I'm just going to pick the become universal talent. I'm going to shoot myself. He has bought zero items to boost his universal damage. He'll That's true. He's got three more levels. Three more levels to go. That's I don't right. think they realize that Primal Base was in a very precarious spot. Oh. They don't have. Naga eggs is hard to do anything during the duel. Yep. The downside the downside at this point is uh 
Phoenix doing a pretty poor job of taking care of their buildings here. There wasn't really any proper attack there at all on the part of the Dyer. They still actually lost a, a, the T3 and the Rax for it. What I think they should do. So Naga Illusions are still very powerful. And without that, without Trample, they have no real good way of clearing them. So what I think they should just do is low siege the, that final barracks with the fucking... Big talk. There goes Liper. Somebody, uh, the Hoodwing, tried to throw E-Blade into it. Didn't work. Yeah, it was too late. Probably. No eggs on Jakira, therefore, hope this is zero damage. Sad thing is, is that even with that big kill on their mid, everybody still has to turn around and go home because all the other lanes are absolutely terrible. This is what happens when you are down to two eggs. Two and a half, actually. Uh, oh man, oh no! Okay, it's gonna be fine now uh, that the Legion, Legion got melted. Yeah. Uh, Ice? Yeah. Yeah, it just decides to take the bullet there, I guess. He didn't realize his team walked away. Uh, ah, <laughs> that's sad. Oh, he's got double damage, that's nice. It's a very awkward Chronosphere, I must say. I For some reason, I get this funny feeling that he probably wanted to not just get the Jakiro in that. Maybe that, that, that thought is influenced by the fact that he immediately ran out of the Chronosphere after the Naga Siren, I don't know. World is coming at this last Rex. He's actually really awkward, even though Dyer can't really cleanly win the fight. They can definitely just keep sending Nog Illusions at this until the Primal Beast comes back up. They're gonna win this War of Attrition eventually. You were uh, mentioning that earlier. Oh, that was a good four Staff. Didn't really get the job done fully, but at least scared the crap out of Old Void. Primal Beast buys. He's trying to TP on the long side of this. Nog's Iron actually doesn't have ult for, uh, for a little while longer. Kind of an awkward uh, place for Jakira to end up here. Hoodwink down. Good save in the duel, but she ref Gonna go down for it. Oh, Ark. Oh, Ark. Everybody's walking away from the old Ark. Trying to get rid of his team. Faceless Void buyback. Actually, just took a godlike for that. He's back. Oh, that's embarrassing. Forgot something. <laughs> Thong finally comes back up, and that's great and everything, but it, it did come at a pretty heavy cost. It's a very back and forth game. Every time I feel like Radiant's about to finally kick the bucket, something happens. Oh, Discord crashed. That's good. Hopefully my internet hasn't died. Oh, the picture was also held up there. That's annoying. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully that, that last team fight was visible. I'm a little worried it wasn't, but... You know how it goes. Okay, uh, you're you should be back, right? Oh no, Discord has just crashed again, actually, is what it's done. Quite annoying. Yeah, Discord just straight died there. Discord this year? was internet issue. Yeah, luckily it was not an internet issue there. Holy crap, so many pings going out. Two man Chronosphere, they got the Naga Siren in it. Look at her die! Oh my god! She's got so little HP! But they can't get her! Naga's singing. Using the song to gain HP. That's yep. not enough. Only a 30%. Duel on the Faceless Void. LZ melts! He uh, Faceless Void won the duel. Faceless Void has as much duel damage as the LZ, basically. Oh no. Does LZ have a BKB? Does LZ have a BKB? Answer is yes. She died that fast through. Faceless Void also just die backed though. Probably have a 
So Faces Void and Primal Beast are both dead no buybacks. Um This is awkward. The wizard can drag the wave and just slow everything down. It's true. Tell the Nagus was up. Alright, they just need to throw down go down. Just yeah, they're just last rack. Yeah. There's no way it's gonna take more than seventy seconds to to get down there, so click on the Nagas iron. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. What else to find? Unless just buy like a I don't know, Hex wouldn't have been bad for the face of fight if he doesn't if he doesn't pop fuck it game going into fight and dies. Viper actually did a million damage in that fight. Yeah, that's true. Imagine the old HP balloon Spirit Breaker probably didn't. Oh no, Viper broke himself. Probably didn't hurt Matt as much. Spirit Breaker is dead. He's got buybacks. He might as well not have died at all. Two buybacks coming out. They do not want to get megged. Uh, are they just gonna win before Void gets back up? That would be a little sad. I don't know. They have Glyph. Just finish the power. Got one close. Void power. is back. Power's dead. Fail. Boots of travel on the fucking Jiro. Excuse me. Boots of travel on the Hero for yeah, he's, he's also got a veil of discord because he's going uh, Shiva's guard. No, oh, that just wants the damage. Yeah, that's true. It's just funny to see it now as like it, like you know, Jakiro with uh, oh, that's veil of discord. Hilarious, actually, if your Aeon disc comes off cooldown while you're below 70% HP, it just pops immediately. Nice. Well, at least that's what it seems like happened right there. Yeah, I don't think he's taking any DOTs. No. Okay, Naga gets Aegis, which is very bad for the uh, for the Void. I also got the Cheese, which is kind of annoying. He does have his AC now. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh baby, <laughs> could have just been a fucking Shiva's guard. But what oh I baby, I love to see it. On Viper, I, Viper is so much better with the Shivas here because they have to come to yeah. you. You press Shivas and they all die to your spells. Your spells are doing damage, not your fucking right clicks. Oh my god, he did take the universal talent. Die. <laughs> <laughs> you know he knows who you are. <laughs> he was one of the people. Does G Raf know who I am? I'm sorry, G Raf. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it. you've built like an absolute potato this game. <laughs> You might as well just be a poisonous potato at this point. Actually, no, you're a venomous potato. Poisonous would be if somebody bit into you. Actually, technically, you're both because you're corrosive skin. But whatever. Yeah. You're a poisonous and a venomous potato. Yeah, it's like uh, both accurate and precise. But, like. I feel like the enemy team just ignores you because you do no damage. Without. <sighs> I can't even tell if you're doing damage or not because you're just clicking people. I mean, one of the one of the problems that that we are seeing is uh, carrying the fight because they're ignoring you for seven minutes. Yeah, well, one of the advantages he does have is, of course, uh, the void never got anything to deal with the viper strike. Well, but like here's the but here's how it is. It's either viper gets one shot by the faceless void because that's just how that's going to happen, and the naga siren does a lot of damage in the fight. Or the Nog Siren dies inside a Chronosphere, and the Viper maybe carries the fight. So, I don't even know. Because you've got three magic resistance items, of which you only needed two of them. Like, fuck, I would have just been happy with just the Mage Slayer. True. And then maybe a BKB afterwards. Um, the pipe is just 
beating a dead horse. Yeah. At this point in the game, with the amount of magic resistance you had, Pipe was giving you like 5% magic resistance effectively. I mean, you get you get the Pipe of Insight for your team. That's definitely more of a pause 3 and you don't mentality than 2. It. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of both. Ace. And you're, at the moment you're dealing damage with your abilities, the AC could have just been a Shiva's guard and you would have done so much more with the slow, the healing reduction, etc. Well, I think the AC was for pushing because he still does get the uh, still still does get but this on the buildings. Legion. But your legion already has one. Legion yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think that was the the, the mentality. I, you know, I don't think that was necessarily a good idea. I think that's why I was thinking it. Uh, Ark is in the middle of five. Ark is just dead. Chrono on one. three. Four man Corona, how'd LC get in here? Yeah, LC. Did LC blink in there? Uh, maybe. Second out. Oh, well, that's sad. Second. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no, that he dies? Oh, God. <laughs> this, is, this is exactly what I mean. It's either like you Chrono the Viper, the Viper can't fight, but then the Naga wins the fight because you've ignored the Naga Siren. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Naga, Naga died there alone without him. The problem is, uh, he couldn't kill the rest of the team. There's just too much anti-Chrono crap. He can't deal with any of it. It's not even that. It's just dude, nobody else on the team does damage except the base is right now. Also doesn't help. Man, that was a lot of, uh, that was a lot of nonsense. That was a... Uh, <laughs> for being a game whose archetype is usually being annoying, at least it was funny. Oh boy, lots of uh, yeah. skills and, and uh, flashing lights. It was very, you know, very distracting. And, you know, if that was uh, if that was playing in a big room, I would not... Uh, can we get the scoreboard, please? That would be really awesome, actually. If I was playing in a large room, I don't think I would be able to look away. I, I just hope that uh, I didn't have a bunch of moments in this video where it was just staring at one frame for 15 minutes. Because OBS yeah, likes to do that sometimes. That was me as well, this entire game. It was very nice. Brain. It was just, it was stuck in Viper's build. <laughs> there you go, it's stuck in your mind. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, the... I don't know. This is, this is a little weird. I gotta it's say, annoying. it felt like, um... It you got some terrible. awesome moments on this Radiant lineup, you got some terrible moments on the Radiant lineup. I mean, there was like a really good fight that Radiant took him in, where they went high ground on Dire, and then they one shot both the Legion and the fucking Jakiro at the same time, with the same fucking primal charge, because they were standing on top of each other, and he hit them both, and they both died, and then they just won the fight because it was a three v five after a single spell. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that it's... was a really good fight because they got all five of them, and then both teams just took a couple of incredibly bad fights and it turns out the team that was has a 53k net worth naga siren just wins those yeah i mean it was it was a weird game it felt like blade fury burger should have been more ahead than they were it was a, the best way i could put it like they were winning fights and then they were the team that was losing the buildings after the fights they were like you know Maybe the microcosm of this game was that very early fight at top where Naga dies one second into it and then gets a triple kill after she's dead. Like, yeah, I don't know. That a was, very awkward that game. Slingshot. Yeah, that slingshot. It was looking really bad until that happened, honestly. I was not looking... Because the other team had the earlier team. And, like, with the Primal Beast and the Spearbreaker running around killing people. Like, yeah. that was just gonna be a death roll there and then the naga got a fucking triple kill under tower after she died yeah i don't know it was very it was very it was a very strange game i think a lot of it is just kind of there were a lot of like you know we we kind of harped on it a little bit there were some awkward execution moments for uh, the beefs as it as it turned out i think there were about as many for the burgers that we didn't really go into quite as much i mean just to be blunt, I mean, the, the saddest moment of Lambert's whole career 
was the chronosphere he got that was supposed to be on two, and it was on one. He was so frustrated, he just runs out of it anyway. And the second saddest moment of his career is when he gets the, the two-man chrono on the Viper Jakiro. He goes on Viper, Viper gets E-bladed, he goes on Jakiro, Jakiro gets Hey on disc. Like, <laughs> I would uninstall after that. There was another time mid where he, the, he missed the Naga by half an inch twice in a row because he had a refresher shard. He jumped in, J chrono the Jakiro, killed the Jakiro inside the chronosphere, and then he jumped in again on the Viper, again missing the Naga by half a centimeter. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think the Naga slam was pro the the Dyer in general was playing well around it. I think they did have some tactical deficiencies. I think the strategy was just generally better, and I think that's what won them the game. And that's I mean, why it uh, played well this game. Yeah, he farmed got his items. As it turns out, the the first the disperser was the correct item. I was wrong. They have to you one shot wrong. into the faces void at the end of the game because with twelve illusions all burning your mana, you kind of run out of mana very fast. Yeah, especially after you've pressed Chronosphere twice. Yeah, he bought it for a refresher. I think is what happened. Why that's why he didn't buy back. He bought out. Although the, the Legion, I, it's a it's a this is a very unfortunate Legion game. Yeah. Blue Jay did his best, but it was a pretty bad game to be the Legion, and I don't know. Did I feel like uh, I, I feel like this 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 is a big throwback to when I started playing Dota, the TI3 era. It kind of felt like the nine other guys in this game ultimately started to feel like they didn't really matter, and it was just the Void versus Naga matchup, and Naga just started winning those like four out of the five times. I, I would say less so. It was the the Void Primal versus the Naga viper and the other three people on either team sort of mattered a lot less and less yeah Although, uh, because the naga could kill the void in a 1v1 every time and the viper took zero damage from the primal so it's like the faceless void had to somehow get a chrono on the naga siren and kill the naga siren inside the chrono which is not something he could do but at the same time primal can't interact with the naga siren so He's got to try to kill somebody else on the team. Well, I mean, which... like, hypothetically, he can kill the, 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 the Naga and Chrono, but the problem is he can't do that really solo, and that's what it kind of ended up turning into by the end of the affair. I don't know. And if Faces Void, Chrono's the Viper, Primal Beast, I, he just still can't kill the Naga Siren, especially once the Naga Siren gets eggs. He gets stuck in one spot and dies. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a tough game. Yeah, it's a it's a cra it's a crazy game to parse. So it's a I bit difficult to make I'm heads or tails of this one. As much as I'm harping in this viper build, and I'm just fucking working because it made him immortal against the primal beast. Like I think like twelve hundred times out of twelve hundred, this viper kills the primal beast. I don't care if you're fucking like a one hundred MMR player versus fucking Watson. It's you just don't do damage. Yeah. That that is uh, th there is that to that extent. I do think it still might have been overkill. I think he still probably would have been immortal with the Mage Slayer and the Shroud. To be frank with you, but you know how it goes. Or the Mage Slayer and the Pipe, if you wanted to be a team player. Or the Mage Slayer, yeah, Mage Slayer Pipe and the Trait. The the Shroud is definitely like a lot more resist at this point. So if you want to be not a team player, and you're allowed to not be a team player if you're a, if you're a pause two, you can be all about you if you're a pause two. What's the other fifteen talent? Um, I don't remember how the dumb I had. I think it's not. It's another toxin damage. It's a know. kind of sure mediocre amount. Yeah, no one's gonna be stuck inside of another toxin toxin for long enough for it to matter anyway. Yeah. Oh well, well that was a lot of words said about this game. Uh, let's see what happens next time.